Fed's mandate is a big risk for silver. This is from FX Street. And look at this right here. Silver remains tepid near $27 due to diminished safe haven appeal. As silver stackers, we can't even wrap our minds around that comment. Look at this. Growing Growth concerns in the United States have led to a broad sell-off in financial markets, dampening the safe haven appeal of the metal. Recent disappointing U.S. labor market data has heightened fears that the Federal Reserve may be lagging in preventing an economic downturn. This data that we that came out last week, all these economic indi- indicators, they're shaking down everything, not just in the U.S. We're seeing this in Europe. We're seeing this across the board. This is really hitting hard now. Watch this. However, the downside of non-yielding metals like silver could be restrained due to the expectation of a 50 basis point interest rate cut by the U.S. Federal Reserve in September. Look right here. The CME watch tool shows a 74.5% probability of this rate cut at the September meeting up sharply. Look where it was. Up sharply from the 11.4% chance reported just a week ago. That's how, that's how fast this change is, is hitting. Lower yields on investments could drive investors to choose assets with better returns. That's pulling out of silver. And I'm going to show you in a minute. We're seeing this already in the price. Let's keep going. According to Reuters, Federal Reserve Bank, and I'm going to show you the Reuters also, Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco President Mary Daly expressed increased confidence on Monday that U.S. inflation is moving towards the Fed's 2% target. Great. But look at this. Daly noted, Risks to the Fed's mandates, right there, mandates, are becoming more balanced and that there is openness to the possibility of cutting rates in upcoming meetings. Now, I'm going to show you how silver is hit. First, I I, got to show you this. This is so cool. This is exciting. This is Lucky Reps. I don't know if you've heard of this. But these guys are taking the idea of opening up, you know, when we used when we were kids and we would rip open baseball packs and we'd try to get you know, strong cards. This is the same idea, but they're doing it for bullion. And look at this. These are the chance. This is what you have the chance of getting. Gold. That's what I'm talking about. You get half ounce gold right there. Uh, quarter ounce. Quarter ounce gold. The top one. Look at the top value right here where my cursor is. One full ounce. One full ounce of gold. I'm, <laughs> that, I'm so excited about this. This is this is my idea. This is my, my idea of fun. You know, like you could really get a chance like and this is a silver too look at this this is uh the chances that you have and i'll show you in a minute look at this you can get five ounces of silver right here you have a one in three chance of getting at least uh five ounce five ounces of silver one in three chance look this is how it works you uh you you have to wait until august 26th that's a deal everybody has to go in at the same time august 26th you order it you can only right here you can only get uh, five per household it tells you there and Oh, it's look, it says join your mailing, join our mailing list. You got to do this because you get $10 off right away. Let me see about the price. Look, the price says $225 Canadian. But for us in the States, you do the conversion. That's really $162. Plus, you take off the $10 when you join the mailing list. It's $152. So that's look, this again, this is all listed out. This is what what they're we're putting out there. So you have you have a one in three chance here. It says right here odds. One in three chance, right here. You have one in three chance of receiving a five ounce silver item or greater. Better odds than the lottery. So check these guys out. I'm really excited about this. I think it's awesome. The best thing for you to do is to click join the mailing list, right here. It says it up here in the corner too. Join the mailing list. You fill that out. You get ten dollars off of it. And I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to rip this open in front of everybody because I'm I'm so excited about this. I think it's a lot of fun. All right, let's get back. This is Reuters, and it says Fed policymakers signal rate cuts ahead, but no, uh, but not recession. And this is really key, especially to us as silver stackers, as we watch this economy. Look at where this is coming at silver. This says U.S. central bank policymakers push back on Monday against the notion that weaker than expected July jobs data means the economy is in recessionary freefall. But they also warned that the Federal Reserve will need to cut rates to avoid such an outcome. So we see the jobs reports. Everyone panics. And now finally, finally, the Fed is saying, okay, look, we're not headed for recession. This is the Fed. They're saying we're not headed for for recession, but we are definitely going to need to cut rates, which is good. We've been waiting for this because the the, the economy 
every industry in our economy needs more access to cash. They need more they need more of an ability to take risks and grow this economy. So they're seeing this finally. And as this happens, we also uh, you and I in our silver stacking community, we know that one of the great indicators of recession is the inversion of the treasury yields. And nine out of 10 times that we've had an inversion like we've had presently, it leads to recession. So this is real. I mean, it's really coming. L- look at this, though. This is also Reuters. Inter-meeting cut. This is possible. It says the Fed kept its benchmark interest rate unchanged in the current five and a quarter to five and a half range uh, last week and signaled it was on course to begin cutting rates in September. But that decision was followed by worrying signs the labor market might already have turned. The number of Americans filing new applications for unemployment benefits increased to an 11-month high. Ouch, 11-month high. And that pushes unemployment to 4, <clears throat> 4.3%. Now, look at this. Asked about the possibility of an intermeeting rate cut, Goolsby said, everything is always on the table, from rate increases to cuts as the Fed maintains its focus on employment. So an intermeeting cut rate, who who knows if that if that could probably possibly happen? It's, it's possible. Now, check out silver. <clears throat> this is Kitco, and you could see here like how this economic data that is coming out, we're always talking about economic data in our silver second community because it really impacts the price of silver. Where my cursor is right now, this is back in July. This, look, July 12th. July, like, look at these strong silver prices. July 16th, and look at this drop down, down. This is where all that data is coming out, down, <laughs> way down, right? I mean... Some futures traders are sending silver down to $25 an ounce. I mean, that's how how far back down we're going. This economic data, this is what really shows us what's going on. And this is why we're always looking at this. So hit subscribe and check out Lucky Rips. They're, they're really cool. I'm really excited about it. Hit that like button. Help get this information out there. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, I'm, I'm leaving a link in the description below for Lucky Rips. I'll leave a link down there so you could click that and and check it out. It's, It's really fun. I'm really excited about it. I'll see you guys on the next one.